Greetings and once again, welcome back to the channel. I'm Pastor Ron L. Spratley, Pastor Emeritus, Covenant of Grace Ministries. Today, we're going to continue with our teaching and our eschatology series, The Doctrine of Last Things. As you know, we started a new series. We've been talking about the second coming of Christ. So this soundbite is part two. We've been talking about the signs of Christ's second coming. So in part one, we talked about apostasy, which is a turning away from the faith, okay? So we've covered that. We showed you the scriptures on that. And this turning away from the faith and from a living God, we're going to move into number two, deception and the appearance of the Antichrist. So we need to understand the driver of apostasy is deception and the appearance of the Antichrist. So under apostasy, if you're not anchored in the truth, We've got to be anchored, grounded, have knowledge and application of the truth in order to avoid apostasy, okay? Because this deception and the appearance of the Antichrist, okay? This is designed to give you lies and to undermine your faith. So I want you to see how all these signs tie in together. The deception and the appearance of the Antichrist the goal is deception to keep you away and out of the truth. That's the goal. And number two, that's not our goal. We want to stay grounded in the faith. So let's look at the second sign we're going to see. It tells us there will be deception and the appearance of the Antichrist. Let's look at our scriptures, Matthew 24 and 5. For many shall come. In my name, that's, that's the Antichrist, saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. So this is the age we're in. We are already in it. Deception and lies is everywhere. Everything's trying to undermine your ability to get grounded, okay, and to get anchored in the truth. All right. Let's look at Matthew 24, 23 and 24. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not, All right? For there shall arise, what? False Christ, the Antichrist, and what? False prophets. They have already arrived. This is what I want you to understand. They're here already and shall show what? Great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, the they shall what? Deceive the very elect. So this movement is going to be so powerful that it's possible for the very elect to be deceived if they're not completely grounded. So let's look at some key principles here that we can use to protect ourselves in this situation. Let's look at 1 John chapter 4, verses 1 through 4. Beloved, believe not every spirit, okay? Believe not every spirit that comes. You can't believe everything that comes your way. With this technology, this modern day technology that we have access to now, all kinds of stuff is floating on the internet. So you cannot believe every spirit, but what? But try the spirit, okay? So you've got to test the spirit, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. As I told you, they're here now. Hereby, know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confess that Jesus Christ came in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of the Antichrist, right? Where ye have heard 
that it should come, and even now already is in the world. So this is here. It's here now. Okay. Now let's continue. Ye are of God, little children, and have what? Overcome them. So you've got the power. You've got the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit. You need to use your divine powers system that we've talked about. Use the discernment of the Holy Spirit because what? Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Okay? They are of the world. Therefore, speak they of the world. And the world, what? Hear it then. All right? We are of God. He that knoweth God, heareth us. Right? Everybody's not going to receive the preaching of the gospel. They're going to fall under the deception that's out in the world. But if you're hearing me now, right, you are of God. If you can hear this word, receive this word, apply this word in your daily life and understand this word. He that is not of God, hear it not us. They don't believe the gospel. Their hearts have been hardened. They're under the power of unbelief. So they cannot hear us. Hereby, no, we are the spirit of truth. Okay? So here's what we need to understand. He is not of God. Hear it. What? Not us. Hereby, no, we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So you've got to be able to discern the difference. You've got to test the spirit against the spirit. Try spirit. Every spirit that comes is not of God. Many of these spirits are full of deception. They are under the influence of the Antichrist, and that's who they work for. Okay? We're going to stay grounded and anchored in the true gospel and in the scripture. May God bless you and keep you till we have an opportunity to bring you another message in the future. God bless you.